Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm a solutions engineer with Verkata. In this video, we'll cover how to add a door to Verkata command. First, we'll need to make sure we have an access controller added to the org that we're using. If you had not added an access controller yet, please watch the video that covers adding an access controller to command. From the access control page, click controllers from the top menu and select the controller that your door is connected to. After selecting the relevant controller, click Add. While the primary job of our access controllers is to control doors, they can also support multiple inputs and outputs for auxiliary functions. For example, you can configure an input button for triggering a lockdown. Alternatively, you could set up an output for a door prop alarm. A more detailed guide on aux inputs and outputs is covered in a separate video. When adding a door, we'll need to decide whether it's a standard door or an in-out door. Typically, a door only requires a reader on the outside going in. This would be your standard door. Some deployments require having a reader on both sides of the door, restricting and tracking who goes both in and out of the door, hence in-out door. For this video, we'll create a standard door. Give the door name and assign the building and floor. If a camera is nearby, you can pair it with a door by simply clicking Add Camera. This will help give you visual context for all the events that happen at this door. You can choose the camera feed, a door icon, or a custom image to represent the door in your organization. Finally, we'll choose the door port from the available ports on the controller that we're working with. Next, set the door hardware settings. The settings here will largely depend on what components are connected to this door. Unlock time will determine how long door will be unlocked after it is triggered. If a door has a door position switch or indicator installed, toggle the DPI on. This hardware is used to determine if the door is open or closed in a given moment. Typically, the door will relock after the door has been opened. This helps reduce tailgating and other unauthorized entries. If you'd rather the door unlock for the full unlock time every time, select Ignore DPI Relock. If you have a door sensor installed, you can also monitor if it's been open for too long. DHO or door held open events can be triggered if the door is detected for being open for a specified amount of time. We'll leave the threshold at 60 seconds for now. REX or request to exit is a device that allows someone to signal that they need to exit a secured door. This can be a button, a motion sensor, or even an integrated part of the lock assembly. It's valuable to install this at your door to let the controller know that it's going to open without a card swipe. This will help us differentiate a normal exit from an unauthorized forced entry. If you need a Rex device to unlock the door via the controller, toggle Rex unlocks door. You can even customize how long the door unlocks using this Rex device. If you have both DPI and Rex enabled, you'll also be able to monitor if the door is being forced open by enabling DFO. You can further customize this by adjusting how long after a valid door open event before triggering a DFO. If you plan to use our mobile access control app for Kata Pass for remotely unlocking this door, it can be enabled here. While remote unlock can be convenient, we support a wide variety of credentials, including Bluetooth, NFC, physical credentials, and license plate unlock. Each of these are covered in more detail in our Credentials Deep Dive video. Finally, we can set permissions for the door. Groups of users can be granted access to the door with an access level. If you haven't created an access level yet, you can create one now or skip this step and add one later. I've created a few basic access levels that I can link to the door now. Once we're done here, the door creation will be complete. Lastly, the door will follow a default schedule of being access controlled 24 seven, but you can always change this. We cover door schedules in more detail in another video. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24 seven support.